terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. The grand jury does not hear from the defense. They only hear from the prosecutor. That's why 90% of the time they indict. So he's going to get indicted in Georgia at the state level. So we're at three felony cases right now. Uh, He's likely going to get indicted federally in Georgia. That's four because they've already offered the immunity deal. There is another grand jury operating on the sedition related charges in D.C. related to um, January 6th. So that just in, just in case you've lost count, that's six. We're at six cases right now. And then uh, the special prosecutor, who's a federal prosecutor, um, has said if they don't get the conviction that they want in Miami, they're going to charge them with 45 more felonies and put it before a New Jersey. That'll be blue. Uh, federal jury. That's seven. How many felonies is Trump facing right now? I mean, actually has been indicted on, like charged with, formally charged with. 71 right now. At the 45, you're at 116. That's just three of those cases. I just laid out seven. And Lee, this is this is going to be the biggest, most historical, most shocking election in the American entire American history. It's coming. And our side, I think, doesn't grasp it yet. Yeah. How much trouble he is in. It is not his fault. It is lawfare. He's done nothing wrong. And none of that matters. Nope. And I, I say this online, people get very angry at me, they unfriend me, they get very upset. So I've stopped, I've stopped trying to tell them. I'm just gonna let them find out. The only reason I'm telling you today and I'm and I'm reading this article is because my stock and trade in radio has been to be right and to be right before anybody else so early that I almost sound crazy. Man, I'm not crazy. What they're doing is crazy. I'm just telling you first. He's done. He's not he's not gonna make it to the election. And who told us that, Lee? This is what's so eerie. James Cummy told us that. If he's your nominee at your convention and he's not in prison by then, he will be in an ankle bracelet. And Comey's laughing as he said it. It was about four weeks ago. Comey's, of course, the former director of the FBI. Under Trump, who framed him for Russia collusion, which was, of course, fake. So uh, like all these charges. So this is brilliant. And it's going to be interesting because there's a battle going on right now with Jack Smith. Um, And this Miami judge that was appointed by Trump and she wants him tried in August, rightfully so. Right. So that we, the voters will have somebody who's going to, is going to be in prison by the nominating convention or can he beat the Miami charges? All 31 of them. We need to know that Jack Smith, who works for the federal government is of course, profoundly corrupt is pushing for the trial to begin in December. Why? Because there'll be at least three months of motions. There always is. And a federal trial sometimes goes six months. He's trying to push it back, push it back, push it back, push it back to give Trump voters a chance to nominate him. Which that process will start in February, the voting. Yes. So they so they, they don't want it. I mean, they do not want Trump voters to figure out how gone he is. They do not want him convicted before he can rack up enough uh, electors in enough primary states that the Republican Party is going to be in a heap of trouble. What do you do? I mean, what do you do? There's this other weird thing that's going on. If polls are to be believed, I put this with an asterisk, the more they indict him, and they love this, the more popular he gets with us and the less popular he gets with independents. Win-win. So this is why I think you're starting to see them because it was four cases for a long time, Lee, but now it's five, six, seven. I mean, this guy is going to be well over 100 felony charges. Uh, if, if not in prison by election day. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.